Hey guys, so I found these underwater thrusters with brushless motors and I'm going to be using these to design my underwater drone and I'm going to make the drone look kind of like a stingray. So I'm going to have two thrusters under the wing and then I'm going to have a third thruster in the back to control the tilt of the drone and then these two will control the steering. So I have them all hooked up to the ESCs here. And to use these, you're going to want to use an uh, electronic speed controller that is reversible, so you can reverse the direction of the thrust underwater. So I also wanted to kind of go over the direction of rotation. So if you look closely, these two propellers are actually mirrored images of each other. So depending on which way you look at this, to produce forward thrust, you have to rotate this propeller clockwise. And to produce forward thrust out of this one, you have to rotate the propeller counterclockwise. And the reason for this is the same reason in quadcopters that we spin the propellers in different directions. And this is because when you spin a motor, there is a reactionary force that is opposite, opposite to the direction of rotation. And this is how we control the yaw with the quadcopter as well. So for the underwater drone, if I had two motors that spun the same direction, it's going to want to drift. So you have the two motors spinning in opposite directions, it cancels out those reactionary forces. So this is the camera from the last video, and to get the live feed to the headset and the FPV monitor, I'm going to have an Ethernet cable that is attached to a flotation device, and then that's going to have the antenna for the FPV transmitter as well as the antenna for the actual control of the ESCs as well. And that way, if I give it a 25 foot tether, I can basically have a tetherless experience where the drone can go out, you know, a mile and then dive 25 feet. If I put a 50 foot tether on it, it'll dive 50 feet. So, but I'm going to actually start with a 25 foot tether. To demonstrate the reactionary force, we can actually use this motor that's not connected to anything. So, so you can see it's rotating in the opposite direction that the propeller is spinning. But to give you an idea of the size of my FPV drone, I'm going to use a gasket for a differential cover uh, from a vehicle. These are readily available and they work pretty well. So I'm actually gonna use this for the, the hatch to access all the electronics. And this one's actually pretty cool because it's a piece of metal with gasket material on both sides. And then I'm gonna use stainless steel hardware with these ceiling washers. And I'm sure I'll use some RTV along the way as well. And I'll need to make a gasket for my camera because that'll mount to the underbelly of the Stingray drone. So, but anyway, hope you guys liked that video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll see you next time. Bye.